Hi everybody, welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. I'm Richard and today I've got another gun on loan. This is the Ruger SR9C. It's a compact 9mm. We're going to take a look at what comes in the box, then we're going to get it out on the range and give it a few shots. All right, it comes in a nice hard plastic case. Your paperwork will be up in the top there. There's your safety lock that comes with every firearm you purchase nowadays. You've got a little magazine loading tool. Not a big fan of it. It is metal there. It's going to be pushing on the side of the brass case. Uh, I kind of like the up Lula's a little bit better. It comes with two magazines. You've got a 17 round and a 10 round. You've got an extra floor plate. You can put on either one if you want, really, but it's intended to be on the smaller one, so you've got a little bit of pinky shelf there. Um, you'll also notice that this is a compact and it comes with a full-size mag, so when you put that in there, you're going to have a gap there. Well, they've solved that problem. They uh, provide you a little fill piece that goes in there. It makes up the uh, gap between the end there and the bottom of the longer magazine. It's a pretty good feeling grip on it. Not too bad. It does have ambidextrous magazine release on it. Ambidextrous safety, too. Um, there's your slide lock. You can see this is unloaded. It does have a loaded chamber indicator on it, so you got a round in there. This will stick up a little bit and you'll be able to see the red on there. Um, we're going to get this thing loaded up with some, uh, I got a few rounds of Winchester and some Blazer left over. We'll get these magazines loaded up, get this thing out to the range and see how it performs. All right, here we are on the range with the Ruger SR9C. Uh, not only are we going to see how this thing performs, but how well it performs on a beautiful, sunny spring day in Ohio. Anyways, let's give this thing a try. I'm at uh, 10 yards. I got the silhouette target up there. We're going to give it a few shots. I got the 17 round magazine in there with some Winchester, just some 115 grain, uh, round nose, uh, full metal jackets. Let's see how it does. You can see right there, there's the loaded chamber indicator. It's up nice and high. It's got the little red markings on it, so it's easy to see. And this thing is ready to go. Uh-oh, what happened? Let's try it again. All right, put the safety on it. Uh, let's go up there. I fired, I don't know, eight, nine rounds, whatever. Had one. That, uh, for some reason, uh, the striker did hit it, the firing pin did hit it, um, but it just, uh, for some reason, didn't fire. Could be a bad round, could have been a light primer hit, uh, light uh, primer strike. Uh, I don't know. Let's go up there and take a look at the target real quick, see how it does. All right, I'm a little curious about that one round that didn't fire. I went ahead and loaded it back in there, just the one round. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rack it in there and see if it'll fire again. It fired. Might've just been a little bit uh, light strike on the, uh, the firing pin hitting the primer, but uh, second time it did shoot. So probably wasn't a bad round, maybe not, but uh, it works. Uh, it's probably not a fair assessment of whether or not this is a, uh, a good reliable gun because I'm only firing one magazine through it 17 rounds um, To see if it's really reliable. It could have just been a fluke You really need to fire a bunch of rounds through it. Like I said, this one's on loan to me and uh, the, with the weather being what it is out here not a real fun day on the range, but uh, Seems like a pretty fun gun all right, disassemble the SR9C. Go ahead and lock your slide open. It's already opened up. Uh, you'll see inside there, there's the ejector. You need to take and push that down. It might be a little difficult to see on the camera here, but it's that little, little thing that's protruding out down in there. Once you've got that folded down, um, let's see if I can get you a shot of the inside there somehow. You can see it's pushed down. Then what you want to do while you got the slide locked open, there's a button on this side. It's kind of tough to push. You can push it with your fingers, get it pushed down in there a little bit. And this little plate on the back side there will push up some. Get your fingernail in there or something to pull it out. Once you've got that pulled up, it's kind of uh, reminds me a little bit of the takedown pin on a uh, 1911. It's got that little notch in there. Of course, this is just a flat steel, pressed steel with the pin on it there. Um, once you've got that out, set that down and uh, you can go ahead and unlock your slide, hang on to it, and slide the whole thing off there. 
once you got that out, there is your mainspring, there's your barrel, easy access to get in there and clean it all out. It's ready to go. Uh, clean everything up in here. You got a couple safety features and there's the mag safety on it. Your firing pin safety is where your striker is and everything. Uh, get down in there and clean it all up. It gets a lot of gunk in there and uh, you want to make sure it's clean. It remains a good reliable firearm. Reassembly, just take your barrel, put it back down in there. Now I did notice, I have taken it apart already, putting your uh, main spring back in there. That is a little tough to push down. I guess that was pretty easy then. Maybe I was just holding my mouth wrong the last time. But uh, slide it right back down in there. Go ahead and put your slide back on your uh, frame. Make sure everything's lined up. Pull it back, lock it open while you've got it locked open. Take your pin that you took out of there, put it right back down in there, push it straight in there till it clicks. You can go ahead and let your slide go, function check it. All right, we gotta put an empty magazine in there. It's good to go. There is also a status indicator on the back here. Again, I got the empty magazine in there. Right here on the back, that's the end of your firing pin. And when you pull the trigger on it, you'll notice it'll, it goes away. It goes back down inside there. That lets you know it's not cocked. Um, so if you've uh, got one in the chamber, or if you don't have one in the chamber, you go ahead and rack it. You'll see it appears there again. That's to let you know that this thing is ready to fire. Uh, you've got your safety on the side there. That uh, you know disables your trigger from functioning. When the safety's off, you've also got the little lever safety in there. If you don't push that in, you can't pull the trigger back. So depress that, pull it, it's good to go, man. It's a nice feeling gun. It's just the compact version of the SR9. That's what the C stands for. It feels good. Uh, the 17 round magazine is the magazine for the full size one. And uh, it's, it's a good gun, I think. Uh, it's been around since about 2010. Uh, I don't see any records uh, after 2015, so I'm assuming that Ruger has uh, discontinued it. Um, although it doesn't say that it's discontinued on there, they don't have it listed in their catalog. Uh, I do see new ones are still available. Like I said, this one's on loan to me, but new ones are available um, at a bunch of different uh, websites out there, a bunch of different stores carry them. Uh, another neat little feature about this is you've got a reversible back strap on here. You can take that pin out and turn that over and it's actually, uh, you got a flat side, which I believe this is the flat side on here, or you've got one that's kind of humped up a little bit there, kind of a palm swell. But uh, it's a good option for a concealed carry, especially if you uh, put the smaller magazine in there. A little more compact, not very big. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, it's not super light, but um, it's a nine millimeter and it's a good effective gun for concealed carry. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna take this thing back inside, disassemble it one more time, get it all cleaned up. And thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review. If you could, go ahead and hit the uh, like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, comment and share. And thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review.